Welcome back everyone. In today's Affinity Photo tutorial, I thought I would do another cool composite image project. And if you stick around until the end, I'll show you how to get 88 free raster brushes, including the one I used for this lens flare effect. Let me show you how I did it in Affinity Photo 2.5. I started with these two images that I got for free from pixabay.com. I'll put a link in the description. First, I have this beautiful sunset image and then, I found this other picture of a woman standing in the ocean. Don't worry about the fact that it's in black and white, we'll fix that later. First, I'll go to the menu and select File, then copy to copy the woman image, and then switch to the sunset image and choose File Paste. I'll use the arrow-shaped Move tool from the left-hand toolbar to drag the corner nodes inward to resize her. OK, now the next thing I want to do is to isolate her and remove her from her background. To do this, I'll go to my Selection Brush tool on the left-hand toolbar and paint over her to make a selection. To make your brush head smaller, just click the left square bracket key a few times. And to remove areas you select by accident, just hold the Option or Alt key to paint them away. All right, this looks like a pretty good selection. But to make sure I get her hair in, I'll click on the Refine tool on the top toolbar. The adjustment brush is already set to matte, which helps me get in very fine details. So I'll keep the settings where they are and just paint around her hair a bit. There are some areas around her feet that I missed, but I'm going to hide that later so I won't worry about them. Okay, now for this one, I'll make sure to select the output to a new layer with a mask. This will automatically mask off all the pinkish area. I'll use the mask in a bit to help blend in her lower half with the field. Select Apply to bake in the changes. Alright, next up, I'll go to the Adjustments button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select Recolor. Then, I'll drag and drop the new adjustment layer onto the woman layer so it only affects her. OK, I want the woman's skin areas to match the orange hue that you see around this grass. So, I'll play around with all three sliders here. The hue slider changes the colours. The saturation slider reduces the colour strength and the brightness slider controls, well, the brightness. OK, there that looks good. OK, now I'll use the arrow-shaped Move tool in the left-hand toolbar to click and drag the woman down and to the right a bit. I want the sun just over her right shoulder. Next, I want to blend in her lower half. To do this, I'll use the mask we created when we refined the selection a little bit ago. I'm going to use a brush from the Texture category. You can change brush categories by clicking on the drop-down at the top of the brushes panel. I'll select this nice grunge pattern. Then, I'll select my paintbrush tool from the left-hand toolbar. On a regular layer mask like this, black will paint away the layer revealing what's beneath. So, I'll make sure to select black as my paint colour. Alright, now with the mask layer selected, I'll just paint away the bottom half of the woman. I can erase her feet completely. As I work my way up, I can reduce my brush head size by clicking the left square bracket key a few times. This doesn't paint away as much and so it blends in nicely at the top of the area I want to remove. I've sped this up a little bit so as not to bore you. But go ahead and take your time to blend this in nicely. Alright, next up, I'm going to create that little lens flare effect above her right shoulder. To do this, I'll start by clicking on the Add New Pixel Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. Then, I'll go to the Brushes panel and select the Categories drop-down at the top of the layer. I'll scroll up to Dreamfography. If you don't have this category, I'll show you how to get it for free at the end of the video. There are 88 super cool brushes here, ranging from mountains and trees to dust, fog and smoke. There's also several for light and flare effects. I'm going to choose Light 5 Stamp. Then, with my paintbrush tool selected, I'll go to the little eyedropper icon by the color wheel. I'll drag that over an area of the sun that I want to sample, and then I'll release. 
If you then click on the dropper icon, it'll change your brush to that color. Okay, now, if you click the right or left arrow keys, you can rotate the brush head clockwise or counterclockwise. I'll click the color sampler icon, then I'll click this area just above her right shoulder. This works kind of like a stamp. I'll do this a few more times. First, I'll rotate the brush head a bit more, then I'll click to stamp on the paint. All right, that looks pretty good, but maybe it's a bit too bright. I think I'll select the opacity slider at the top of the layers panel and just lower that down a little bit to like maybe 75% or so. Perfect. I think that little details like this add to the illusion that this woman was actually in this field at sunset. Okay, now before I let you go, I promise to show you where to get those free 88 brushes. Just go to any browser and type in affinity.serif.com to go to the Affinity homepage. Then, click on the Add-ons tab in the menu. Here, you'll see a lot of different add-ons that you can buy. But, go figure, the free one is all the way to the bottom. It's called Dreamfography Brushes for Affinity. Click on the green What's Included button, and then click on the green Claim Yours Now button to the right side of the page. Just follow the instructions, and the brushes are yours for free. And so yeah, there you go. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.